Welcome to Dropy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. And guys, what is Olds Day is News Day once again. <laughs> if a thing gets Olds Day enough, it eventually is reborn. Jacob pulled out a scroll and started reading from it. Is this the the mythical eighth day of the week that the Beatles sang about? Olds Day. Olds Day. Olds Day. Yeah. Olds Day is now News Day. Olds. But today it's News Day. Yeah. It's risen from the ashes, more beautiful and gallant than ever before. We've done so many different things, uh, different iterations of drawing challenges on this show, and then forget about them for for months, months, years, years generations even. of. Of YouTubers have lived and died since we last did one of these so we've, episodes. We've excavated one of our old, uh, old faves. Yeah, we found the bones and we put them back together, and it was the superhero superpower wiki roulette. And now it's Newsday. And now it's Newsday. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how time works? <laughs> um, the way this works is, in case you haven't seen one of our other ones, we've got, we're on the Superpower Wiki, which is powerlisting.fandom.com slash wiki slash superpower wiki, if you want to check it out. If you want to type me, it's that. superpower underscore wiki. Yeah, yeah. You, you, left underscore. you left out a very important underscore. They'll get it. They'll get it. The, I, the underscore was implied. <laughs> um, so if you go to this page, you can do a random page search and pull up a random power. And what we like to do is pull up a couple random powers and then design a hero that would use those that powers. That would combine those powers. We've done that. We did heroes. We did villains. Yep. Um, we might have done this on a on an upcoming Draga episode. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I ever do this? I don't think I've ever done this. You might have done it. You only did it on I that. I only did it on Draga. On that Draga episode. Well, you're doing it now. Which you guys All can right. expect at some point. Soon. <laughs> At some Very point. Very soon. We're it, talking about it again, which means- It's approaching. Someone's working on Can it. Can I please start this episode? Yes. I'm gonna click a random page. Do it. Perfume magic. Wow. <laughs> the power to utilize magic involving perfume. A, mm. a smell, a, a smell base. Yeah, it's a variation of fragrance manipulation. <laughs> Can cast <laughs> magical spells with perfume. Magical smell spells. Smell spells, okay, so we got Someone smelly. Sorry, can you scroll down to limitations for a second? Magic has a price. Is the top line of the perfume magic? All magic has a price. Like, yeah, all why magic is it has a price. There? Well, because that's a limitation on all magic. If you have a magical ability, okay, it's yeah. gonna have a price. This magic isn't costs. a science-based perfume ability. This no. is a ma This is perfume magic. This is perfume magic. Mm. Um, let's see what my second power is. <laughs> Reactionary power. The ability to gain abilities by reacting to things? What does that Excuse mean? Excuse me? What? The example they have is just Wario. <laughs> it's just Wario. <laughs> he gets numerous abilities through reactionary means. You can't explain the thing by using the word in the thing. I think they can. Let me read more. The user gains abilities by reacting to things, sometimes without taking damage. For example, being set on fire could allow enhanced speed. What? Being compressed into a ball could allow for ball-like abilities. <laughs> <laughs> I, wasn't Ball -like I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Being set on fire could lead to increased speed. Being compressed into a ball could lead to ball-like abilities. Finally. Bouncing, I have rolling, all, all the abilities being thrown. that a ball might have. Um, and of course what? being stung by a bee could puff one's face up and allow them to float. What? N naturally. This this seems like a grab bag. This does seem like a grab bag. I think you can do with it whatever you want. The applications seem to be anything. Yeah, as long as it's a reaction, it needs some sort of external stimulus. Yes. to activate is what is what it seems to be. But you get to decide the parameters. It's like a JoJo stand. It's a, a lot. A lot of them are very sort of conditional. Yeah. So it's like a or or a, um, a Nen power. From, uh, from Hunter Hunter. From Hunter Hunter. Yeah, it's got to like meet a certain yeah. you know, type of condition. Some, some sort of condition, some sort of external force causes you to react and it gives you a power. Yes. Like ball-like abilities. Like ball-like ball abilities. <laughs> ball-like abilities is my new favorite thing. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> 
you know, all the powers a ball has. Yeah. You know how balls are known for their many and numerous powers? They roll, they bounce. They can be thrown. You can Jacob. Du- you can dunk them. Jacob. Yeah. Oh, that's a good that's this a good mouth. We're starting, with? we're starting with a mouth. We're going mouth out approach. We're going we're going mouth out on this one. Um, I think I actually want it to be a little more. <gasps> that mouth, that it's mouth was that was a false mouth. That oh. was a that was a warm that was a practice mouth. I want it to be a little more smoochy. Oh, okay. That was pretty smoochy. But this one's but this one's really smoochy. Okay, it's even so smoochier. smoochy. It's like a duck bill. Yeah, even smoochier than than that one okay. was. And have we decided? Are are we all doing heroes, uh, or do we get to decide whether uh, we're drawing a hero or a villain? Given. I think it's kind of like we'll we'll feel it out, okay, and it could go either way. Cool, because I'm kind of thinking my mine's power could be used for good or for ill, right? So I mean, we really, have to, it depends on the intention. Yeah, it depends you know? on this this character. Yeah, whether they seem like they would be noble or or more selfish. Do you remember those like perfume things that have like the ball that you squeeze and it squirts out the yeah. The juice. Yeah. That's what you're going for. Oh, that... that's another ball like ability, being <laughs> able to squeeze. Yeah, squeeze be, squeeze be ability. Squeezed. Balls cannot squeeze, now they can this, be squeezed. Now this is a shape. Yeah, I've got a shape going this on. This is here. you know, I I encourage anyone watching to just keep their mind out of the gutter while looking at this shape. It sounds like your mind's the only one that's in the gutter. I'm encouraging right now, that's I'm what that's encouraging like. everyone, including myself. <laughs> to keep their mind out of the gutter when looking at this shape. This is just a perfume bottle shape. It's not reminiscent of anything else. Well, maybe if you stop talking about it, no one would be thinking about it. That's what I, well, no, I'm trying to help. You're I'm not try, helping. I'm trying to tell them not to. You're not helping. I think You're I'm- You're not helping. I think I'm helping. You're not helping. Julia, is he helping? I plead the fifth. <laughs> Julia had such a serene look on her face just then. <laughs> <laughs> just staring wistfully at I this. Just... Oh yeah. So I think like so so it does a a smooch. The 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 lip smacking is yes. what creates the smell. It's, it squirts out the smell. It's sort of like a breath. Yeah, it's a really really fresh breath. Yeah, and I think um, oh look at this that it's the type of thing where the reactionary part comes in, mm-hmm. where it it based on its like surroundings. It can create either like the best smell for the situation mm-hmm. or the worst smell for the situation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Depending on whether it's being used for good or, or for evil. This this hero is more like a tool. Okay. You know, they don't they don't really they're like chaotic neutral. Okay, I like that. So they show up a and, force of chaos. And depending on who squeeze. Depending on who squeeze. Okay, so, so gonna, they need I'm gonna the, have like a hand up here. D- the external force in this case is the someone needs to squeeze. Someone needs to squeeze and based on their <laughs> sort of like. <laughs> so you can cripple this hero just by making sh- sure they're isolated from anyone who could squeeze. Yeah, as long as no one squeeze, then no, no problem. No power. No squeeze, no power. This looks like a rejected character from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Lumiere, I am here. <laughs> oh, do you have to be? I don't, dude, stay away from me too. Like I'm, on, I'm on fire. The combination of the two of us will just. We can make a flamethrower. <laughs> if no, I, God, if you squeeze so me and I blow my <laughs> stinky, stinky gas on your <laughs> fire, it will create a powerful flame that is also very stinky. Like, I don't, I don't think we need to do that. We super don't need that. Although you know, when the castle was attacked, uh, flipping wardrobe. The the chef dude had all of his knives. A few people had pitchforks. You know, I guess, God, I guess it's not out of the realm of possibilities, huh, dude? I'm just glad you are willing to talk to me. No one else, <laughs> everyone else runs away whenever I show up because I'm so stanky. Because I can make a very bad stank and it is not up to me. <laughs> This is just what uh, my life is like, and so I try to overcompensate with confidence, but I'm uh, very sad and lonely. <laughs> Please, I very much need some friends. <laughs> oh, he's got Even a little tank my, top. My little tank top <laughs> does not help. <laughs> this is my French accent. <laughs> Please help me, my little tank top. 
<laughs> yeah, this is what my voice sounds like when you squeeze me. <laughs> Next it time there to do the accent. It makes it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time Jacob tries to do a French accent, it just becomes like pan European. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. I am French. I'm from France. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, I'm a French. <laughs> uh, oh, good. Uh, just, just really, <laughs> really alienating our entire European family. <laughs> well, we're trying to do a Lumiere. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's not good. <laughs> the things we do sometimes. He's got a little star on his shirt. He's a Steven Universe. Yeah. <laughs> this is <laughs> some weird Steven Universe uh, OC. So, yeah, depending on how you squeeze, like, let's say you were, you know, yeah, eating give an dinner. example. Okay. If you were at a nice dinner and it's like, you know, be our guest. These style. beautiful, like, food smells everywhere. Uh-huh. And this guy comes in and, and a bad apple in the crowd <laughs> gives him a squeeze. And then you know, he next smells thing like you know, the a whole, bad apple. The whole place smells like you know rotten food, or it smells like a dead rat, or it smells like yeah. something you wouldn't want to so smell the, at a restaurant. So the intent of the person doing the squeeze informs the smell. Yes. So like if if someone at that same restaurant then went up and did a squeeze to make it smell better, yeah, then it would smell like you know the most delicious food, some real cooking good, food that you've ever smelled. Some real nice, some some sizzling onions. Yes, perhaps. Yes. Hat or head? That's his head. That's his head. Oh, where's his brain? What yep. do you mean? What? That's in there. It's in there? Yeah, you're squeezing his brain. You're squeezing oh, his God. brain a little bit. Yeah, it's not good for him. It's not no. comfortable for him. Well, he's he's making the best of it. But he's making the best of it. <laughs> Look how Please, serene. Please, God, I have such a headache today. Please do not squeeze me. Oh, oh God. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that actually made me feel better. I think you killed whatever brain cells were <laughs> reacting to the pain. I think uh, it's also worth noting that he does not have a nose. So he is immune oh, very good. to oh, that his is own good point. power, which, which means that he doesn't know if he's doing good or bad until people start reacting. I am just happy that someone is uh, talking to me. I crave human touch. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Most people try to avoid touching me. <laughs> it's a very unpleasant sensation because that is my skin just surrounding my soft, squishy brain. <laughs> my skull has melted away as a result of this power. <laughs> my life is misery. I am lonely and I have no skull. <laughs> if um, anyone were to do a particularly hard squeeze, I might die. <laughs> this guy's name is... Uh-huh. Lodor. Oh. Lodor. I Lodor him. Oh, thank you, Nathan. Julia, do you Lodor him? I do. Thank you. Is I'm he wearing you both do. pants? No, he doesn't need them. Okay. Um, <laughs> Nathan, do you want to make a <laughs> I hero? I do not have genitals. <laughs> <laughs> they well, take my it. life is so much misery. <laughs> <laughs> that witch's curse really fucked me up. <laughs> Um, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll do one. Yeah, you come, you come in. <laughs> all right, well, let me get my powers. Yes. Enhanced brain capacity. We were just oh. talking about brains. So this Unlike is bigger Lador. brain. So big brain, the ability to use one's brain capacity far above the maximum level. Subpower of enhanced condition, advanced version of maximum brain capacity. So enhanced is better than maximum. And that seems, I guess it's, maximum. It's above. Like, it's above maximum level. Yeah, it's I'm been picturing enhanced. some Super Saiyan esque uh, powering up. I didn't know someone's brain could be at that level. <laughs> some real brain genius bullshit going on here. Yeah. Extended knowledge u- and usage of the brain. So it it's not like telekinesis or anything like that. It's just- You're just very you're smart. You're just better at brain stuff. Yeah, than yeah. anyone. Than anyone. Even people with maximum brain stuff. Yeah, you, you've you enhanced beyond maximum. Okay, yes. so big big brain. Big brain beyond maximum. Big brain plays coming at you combined with- Personal environment. <laughs> the ability to create a sphere that acts as a mini environment. Like a hamster ball? Like a force field. Oh. Environmental bubble, micro environment. User can generate a sphere around them that acts as their yeah, uh, fresh air in an otherwise hazardous environment, regulating temperature, uh, regulating the weather. It's just sort of like a 
just sort of a climate control. So this is actually, this is a pretty chill combo because it basically means you get to be comfortable and just and just sort of thinking. Yeah, yeah, it seems like they would really just do a ton of thinking in their comfort bubble. Yeah, so I think that's that's sort of what I'm I'm gonna do. It'd be the kind of hero where like once in the story arc they would awaken from their reverie. Yeah. And offer like the one piece of information that that everyone needed. Let's just get a big old brain coming in. Yeah, enhanced brain beyond maximum. It's a big brain, but it, it, this is the skull has expanded as well. So this is sort of a. Well, yeah. Obviously, they figured out a way to do that. Yeah. With their enhanced brain. With their enhanced brain. Does the brain even need to be bigger to be enhanced? No. <laughs> oh, really? I think it would just be better. Okay, so maybe. Mojo Jojo I, you know, had a big brain, and he wasn't particularly smart. He could just talk like a human. Yeah, well, for him, that's pretty good. Yeah. So then maybe maybe this isn't their brain. Maybe they're wearing just like a big helmet to protect their brain. Oh, that makes sense. Because and they, also to like give the impression that their brain is very big. Right. Because they're like, well, normal people. They did, they did the research. Yeah, people will think you're smarter if it looks like your brain is really big. This is like a, just like a, a bulbous magneto helmet is what yeah. I'm dra drawing right now. Or really big Elvis hair. It's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> yep. <laughs> A big shiny hair helmet. Oh, he's giving me some Marvin the Martian vibes. It is kind of Marvin the Martian esque. Um, what I'm doing. I guess I don't have any original designing. Nothing's you know, original anymore, man. I never original. think about Marvin the Martian. I love Marvin the Martian. He was There's the like referee. A lot of things I don't think about, but Marvin the Martian is really like low on that list. Like he, I forget <laughs> him constantly. He was the referee in Space Jam because he's a, a tune and an alien, so he was the most impartial. That makes sense. Yeah, um, I'm a Marvin the Martian fan in the way where I haven't watched it since I was a kid, and I decided that I really liked Marvin the Martian the most out of all of the Looney Tunes characters. That's and a I weird have not pull. thought about it since, and uh, because of that, he stays my favorite. Well, there you go. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Yeah. I don't know if I have a favorite Looney Tune. I don't like any of them that much. I like. I have Taz. favorite skits. I don't like Taz. I definitely don't like Taz. Well, <laughs> I definitely don't like Taz. He's he's gross and dirty and makes loud sounds and he's all spitty. I don't want that. Yosemite I don't need that. Yosemite Sam's got some fun bits. Oh, I do like Yosemite Sam. Yeah. I like Foghorn Leghorn. Foghorn Leghorn is just my grandfather. I think he's like everyone's grandfather, really. But he reminds me so much of my grandpa. He's everyone's southern lawyer grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> he's just reading. <laughs> Please don't disturb me. Not that you could, because I have my own personal environment bubble. <laughs> That's impossible to disturb me. I wish I had my own little personal environment bubble. We would never hear from you again. Yeah. You that's would just true. be gone. Yeah. You wouldn't come out of it. I would get a lot of work done. It's already hard enough to just like get your attention <laughs> while you're working. Yeah. Without an environment bubble. It really is impressive. We're like the opposite when it comes to working. I am the most easy to distract, and Julia is almost impossible to distract. <laughs> yeah, it's really I'm impressive. I'm all in. I'll like lean really close and just like stare directly at the side of Julia's head while she's working, and she won't notice me. Like she doesn't even have peripheral vision no. when she's working. I'm like I'm like this. Yeah. Would you notice that if yeah, I was doing that? I, to I you? did. I did notice it. I leaned really close. to You me leaned again. really close to me, but Julia does not notice that. No. She's in her personal environment bubble. I get too into the zone. It's all I think about is what I'm working on. I go full focus. Oh, I love that he kind of he kind of has like a squat little body and this big head, and I love it. He doesn't need a big bod. No. He has a big brain. He's got big brains. I guess he could if he wanted to have a big bod. If he wanted to go work right. out, he like could. If, like if he wanted, well, because he knows all the best workout techniques. Yeah. He's done a lot of research. He knows like if he were to start working out, mm -hmm. he could really make some fast gains because he's got all the knowledge. Yeah. He knows the exact workouts that he would need and the exact diets. And Yeah. He's not doing any of that. No. Now, but he does know it. Yeah. And that's got to count for something. You know what? Working out, not important to him. And that's fine. He's working on his brain muscle. I'm going to give him a cape. Yeah. He's in his research. 
he's determined that he likes capes. He does like capes. capes. Because then he can just pull it over himself and God. and take a nap. He can pull it over himself and use it like a blanket. Yeah. yeah. And just go to sleep. He and can it's swaddle all up. He can swaddle bubble. up. Yeah, let's get that sort of coming around. It took him a thousand years of research to determine if he liked capes. Yeah. And then, like, but what kind of did, material? But he did a thousand years of research in one day. Whoa! Whoa. What would have is... taken you a thousand years has taken me just a few minutes. See, because I, I, I am known that I had that I liked capes. I already mm. know that. I don't need a thousand years of Do research. Do you really know? I'm pretty anything? sure. I guess not. I guess you're right. I'll give him like, yeah. Here we go. I want you guys to know that I googled Marvin the Martian. And the top question for him is, does Marvin the Martian have a girlfriend? Because people are looking. People, <laughs> people are interested. Yeah, people are interested. I don't think the, I think Marvin the Martian's asexual. Well, apparently, Marvin the Martian has had Sex. a girlfriend. Canonically. Um, her <laughs> name was Queen Tyranny. Queen Tyranny? Oh, yeah. dang. Damn, Marvin. So, Dating uh, up, huh? She does not love Marvin. Oh. And she loves Duck Dodgers. Oh, of course she does. Everyone loves Duck Dodgers. Fucking Duck Dodgers. How could you resist that bill? It's got a little environment in here. Um, it's his favorite environment. Maybe some, just like, yeah, just a nice sort of partially cloudy, slight breeze. Yeah, very comfortable. The little, type of environment you don't even notice. It's got a little sun peeking out behind the clouds. Just a little sun. Yeah, but not enough to cast a glare or hurt your eyes. Right. Just provides perfect lighting conditions. So that he can read his book. He's probably reading like Twilight or something. I bet he's got a book in that book that's yeah. like a trashy romance. <laughs> Absolutely. He's like, please don't interrupt my research. It's very important that I finish this chapter. I'm doing uh, some reading that you would never be able to comprehend. Oh, Bella, why are you choosing? Why are you choosing that guy? Come on. They, everyone sucks here. Just yeah, yes, I'm reading strong, Twilight, but I'm doing it ironically. Be be a strong, independent woman. I'm oh, very no. smart. It's um, you know, just trying to read uh, what the humans are reading, so that I may understand human culture better. He is a human. I was <laughs> once a human, but I have ascended, <laughs> and now I am just the brain man. <laughs> <laughs> have you met my bird? My little friend. Smart book for sm <laughs> smarts. Smarties? Smarts. Smarts. Love it. Smart book for smarts. And I guess he's got to wear like a diaper because he doesn't want to leave his little environment. He bubble. hasn't figured out any technology better than diaper for dealing it's with a, his waste. It's a high tech diaper. This is a high tech diaper. It's a high tech diaper. It's got like one of these tubies that it's, goes. It's different than a diaper a baby would wear. Mine has a tube. Mine has a tube, and it goes. There it goes. All Please of don't my, step on my tube. All of my duties and peepees go through this tube. Do not step on the doo doo tube. <laughs> I'm Please. too smart to waste time. <laughs> Going to the bathroom when my duties and peepees can just go out through a tube. Now please leave me alone. <laughs> Beautiful. Think, yeah. Yeah. I this love is him. uh I need to come up with a name for him. This is, of course Duties Ronimus. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Brainiac already a thing. Is it just is it just Bubble Man? It could just be Bubble Man. I think this is Bubble, bubble Brain. I think this is Bubble Brain. Bubble Brain. This is Bubble Brain. This is Bubble Brain. His famous poo tube. Yeah, Bubble Brain and his sidekick poo tube. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how how Tony Stark has Jarvis. The, yeah, the poo tube does talk to him. Man, based on our content, we should be uploading to poo tube instead. Hey, uh, you know Zan. All right, let me draw. Yeah. We're bad. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to look up my uh, superpowers. First one is dream world manipulation. Great. The ability to manipulate the dream world. <laughs> Great. Great. Sweet. So cool. they can come into your dreams. Yeah, and just mess you up. And really just do all sorts of bad bullshit in the there. user can create shape and manipulate the dream world and everything in them including all the aspects of urban areas from the pure 
purely physical ones and also mythical and conceptual ones. All right. And my second power is healing empowerment. The power to gain strength from healing. Don't we all? Well, I think from healing others, maybe. Or is it not? You should become stronger, faster, more durable, etc. from healing others. I was right. Okay. Possibly unlocking abilities related to the affinity and enhancing their existing powers. Okay. So they heal and they get stronger. This person's like a, a dream healer. Like a... <laughs> dream healer. They sound like a quack. They yeah. Show, they show up in your dreams... And they heal you, and then they and demand they heal money. You, and then they get stronger by demanding money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely sounds like yeah, dream dream healing. Yeah, that's, that's a pyramid scheme for sure. I went to a dream healer for the first time, and it really changed the way I interact with my dreams. Uh -huh. I sleep so much better now. It's like let me just tell you about it for the next like thirty to forty minutes. Are you gonna? Okay, because you missed a lot of days of work. I was I was dream healing. Okay. I'm gonna be a much better employee okay, now. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I'm no longer the same person you knew because I went to dream healing. <laughs> and now I'm different. <laughs> now I'm better. But then you look down, you're in your underwear. It's still a dream. It's still a dream. You're still in the dream. And when? <laughs> how do you know when the dream ends? That's why you gotta get a totem. <laughs> Inception. 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 <laughs> <laughs> There was no part of Inception where they looked down and they were in their underwear. And I think yeah. that's the least believable yeah. part of Inception. <laughs> not nearly enough just like high school gym teachers. Yeah, no one had to go back to math class. <laughs> no one had to build a go-kart with no one... their estranged uncle. Yeah. <laughs> all of the, the only thing they dream about was like being chased by bad guys. Yeah, all they dreamed about was like cool hotels <laughs> and like guns. <laughs> Action set pieces. Yeah. I never dream about that. I never dream about that at all. I dream about like a, a scary bear and then I and then my legs don't work. Yeah. And I'm like trying to move. And then just like lots of escalators. Lots of just like weirdly narrow escalators. Yeah, not enough escalators. Mm hmm Not enough uh you're driving a car and, and you lose control of it, but oh, your man. your limbs won't work fast enough to hit the brakes or turn the wheel. Driving dreams are crazy for me because I do not have a driver's license and my brain knows this. So anytime I'm driving in a dream, I'm like, I should not be doing this. I'm, I don't know how to do this. I am going to get in trouble. Or dead. Or dead. I'm usually more worried about getting in trouble. And then of course the brakes don't work. Yeah, naturally. They never work in dreams. The brakes don't work, the accelerator works great. <laughs> yeah, too good, some might say. I don't think I've ever had a dream about driving. That lucky, can't be true. Lucky you. I think I think I really have never had a dream about driving. I have yeah. a lot of dreams about where I I'm not like there's there's a situation that uh like I did not cause, but then I feel like I have to like it's my fault. That's always my dream is like, oh, there's a bad situation going on. Whoops, I did this, but it wasn't me. So it's just me feeling guilty for doing nothing. Those are my dreams. Wow. Yeah. That sounds like bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so your subconscious is just constantly telling you that you're not doing enough even though you do the most of any person <laughs> that I know. So it's like, oh, you've caused you've caused problems. You've you caused problems. Your inaction caused problems. Yeah. <laughs> and then Julia comes to work and does everything forever. And then goes home and goes to sleep and then her brain says, didn't do enough. Didn't do didn't enough. Didn't do enough. Gonna have to do more. Look at all these dream people who are mad at you. <laughs> Look at all these problems you caused. <laughs> oh man, but I did have a dream not too long ago and I told Jacob about it because it was the weirdest thing. I had a dream that I was a Jedi that was fighting um, just two things. The clan of just two things, which is just those t-shirts that just combine two things. You were fighting t-shirts? No, but I was fighting like the things that would go on the t-shirts oh, so that are fighting, just two things. You were fighting like Red Deadpool Redemption. Yeah. That's exactly it. Okay. And that was my whole dream, was that I was fighting the Just Two Things clan. <laughs> just Two Things <laughs> clan. Everything has the power of two things. Of two things. That's sort of what we're doing on this episode, is yeah. we're combining two things. Yeah. 
So who? What's the? What's what's this guy's deal? He's just wearing a, <laughs> just wearing a nice, a nice suit and yeah. A you've drawn a man tie. in a suit again, Julia. I don't well, know <laughs> <laughs> how to tell you this, but no matter your prompt, yeah, you draw a man in a suit. Which Pokemon is this? <laughs> Well, I want him to be, so we had joked that he's like a, a psychologist that pops into your dream to kind of help you out, you know, to try to heal you. I see. You know, he's like, he you don't have dream. time for a psychologist. Well, I'm here. Let's let's work through this. Yeah. He's like, I can help you when you sleep. So you're going to therapy while you sleep, basically. Yeah. But- um, pretty good. pretty good gig. Yeah. Pretty you good just, racket. I'm not gonna. This is like a, a good superpower to have on- on like as part of a superhero team because I imagine lots of superheroes are racked with with guilt and emotions about sort of the 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 power that they have and and the responsibility that they, that's been thrust upon them that they don't ever really have time to deal with. That's true. In the waking world, so they do it when they sleep. So they do it when they sleep, and then they they're they're a more effective crime fighting team when they wake. But what they don't know. Mm -hmm. is that each time this guy does one of these sessions, he's getting stronger. He gets stronger, yeah. And I think he ends up being a secret villain. Okay, because you know, yeah. he knows all of their, their deepest fears and yeah. weaknesses. And he's been hoarding this power that right. he gains from doing this. So he shows up and he's like, your team, you, you guys, you know, you don't have time to go to therapy because you're, you're out fighting crime. Mm -hmm. Let me help you while you sleep deal with all of the, the ramifications. And they're like, yeah, that sounds like a, a good deal. And then- Next thing you know. Next thing you know, he's super strong. And you're yeah. in your underwear, apparently. And you're in your <laughs> underwear. Well, he, this is a dream. <laughs> this is a dream. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's I think that's him. And, um, you know, he's <laughs> also <laughs> like- <laughs> Tiny stool. Yeah, he's sitting on a little tiny stool. Aren't you usually on like a comfortable couch when you're getting therapy? Yeah, but in-, in Dreams, dream, there's always like yeah. some weird uncanny valley, like something's a little bit off, just so you feel like a little bit uncomfortable throughout the entire dream. In you know, the, in the dream world, they haven't invented chairs. It's only tiny stools in this particular dream, yeah dreamscape. Yeah, um, this guy's also a villain because he's you know one of those dudes who sounds like he's there to help you, but really he's just doing the opposite. You know, that's like that's like some true real world is villainry. He, is he gaslighting him? Doing some gaslighting. Well, I think he's just like, yes, I'm a, I will help. Now, you know? now what? So it's a dream, right? Uh huh. Is he? Maybe he's like working on some phobias. So he's a big. So he's got a big bug body. So he's got a big. Yeah, maybe this guy's like scared of. Scared of big bugs. Of therapists with bug bodies. Therapists with bug bodies. An unnatural. Some immersion an, therapy. Irrational fear for sure. Yeah. yeah. If this guy showed up in my dreams as a tomato, I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> <laughs> I'd lose my mind, and you're not wearing any clothes. Yeah, that's more skin. That's yeah. Exposed. There's there's less stuff to protect me. Yeah, from the things the tomato can do <laughs> to you, <laughs> which who knows how many things there are. I mean, it's gonna get its gross juice on me. That's I for know sure. That. That's absolutely true. Tomatoes are so stupid juicy. Stupid juicy. That sounds like a compliment when you say it that way. Stupid juicy. These tomatoes are stupid juicy. Oh, it's not a. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> okay. <I> have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go get a tomato to snack on. Am I uh, right, buddy? Mm. This is a dream. <laughs> this I'm is a dream. You're in a. You're stuck need, in a nightmare. I need to wake up. You're getting therapied right now. I'm licensed. Have you guys ever had dreams about recording episodes? I have not actually. I've definitely had dreams where we're doing like live shows. Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely had that. For. Yeah. I've I I usually get those those sort of stress dreams before guest episodes. Yeah. Where I, I just make a complete ass of myself. Yeah, with the guest and I'm like, well, I blew it. <laughs> <laughs> And then you we'll never have a like, guest again. I didn't blow it yet. I didn't blow it yet. <laughs> Still get, time to blow it. I guess it'll go. I hope it goes better. <laughs> yeah. Than that. Yeah, I feel like that's your brain's way of being like, yeah, well, listen, it won't be as bad as yeah. this, you know. Worst case scenario. But <laughs> I wouldn't think it was going to be that bad if my brain didn't convince me it was yeah. going to. Yeah. Well, you know, anytime, 
I interact with Pro ZD, and he doesn't hate me afterwards. I, I call it a win. <laughs> I did a whole recording with Pro ZD where I, uh, you know, refused to take his soul. Yeah. So if he doesn't hate us after that, we're doing pretty okay. We're doing okay. He's just in a gross cave as well, you know? <laughs> He's just like, oh my God, there could be bugs everywhere. I'm just so itchy. That's a real drippy. Yeah. Oh, I bet, oh, I bet he gets to go to the bathroom. It's all oh, wet. that's true, it's yeah. It's wet in there. Yep. He's, yeah. He's dreaming this because he's got to go pee and he's like, not yet. We gotta, uh, yep. we gotta work right, through some right stuff. In the middle of a session, do yeah. not pee your pants. Yeah, well, I guess you're not wearing pants, yeah. so it's probably fine. She have little, little hearts on his on his boxers. Never actually seen heart boxers, but you've never seen heart boxers in real life. In real in life. In real life. Okay. Yeah. They're they're for for how common they are in cartoons. They're, yeah. They're incredibly rare for real life. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Anyway, so there you go. Here's my dude. What's his name though? He doesn't have a name. Yeah, my the bar is pretty low. With L- low door is very good. Bubble brain not as good. It's pretty good. It's okay. It's got the alliteration at least. Yeah. Is Th- this guy like Doctor Hypno or something? Hmm. hmm. He's definitely Doctor. Doctor Eam. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) This is Dr. Eames. (laughs) Yep, absolutely. (laughs) Dr. Eam. Well, great work, guys. This is always fun to return to one of our old formats. Yeah. Yeah. Do it again. Give it another shot. I don't want this superhero team anywhere near me or my children. I don't think you have to worry about (laughs) bubble brain. Uh, wanting anything to do with no, you. that's true. Um, and really, Doctor Eam is the one we have to worry yeah, about. Yeah, Doctor Eam. It, yeah, because at least you can smell Lodor coming, and he's not going to do anything of and his you own can, volition. And you can just squeeze him to make make him undo to whatever. Make a nice smell. Yeah, as long as you can get him in squeezing range, you're pretty yeah. good. But I can't believe we've done a superhero episode where we've made two neither superheroes nor villains that are just people who want to be yeah. and have powers. Yep. Listen, it's, it's we're, we're not a one gray area. Listen, writing superheroes is something that takes skill to <laughs> create interesting characters that have motivations and goals, and we appreciate the people who do it professionally. Like us. Like us. That we're professionals. Julia did just create a nightmare, which yes. will will haunt my nightmares. So yep. so good. Yeah. Good work. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Let us know uh, what other stuff you'd like to see in the comments below. And as always, we're sorry. 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 Hey, thanks for watching that episode of Drawfee. If you like Drawfee and the stuff we make, the best way to support us is by signing up for Dropout. For around the cost of a jug of mouthwash a month, you get access to Drawfee episodes a week early, as well as a exclusive Dropout Discord where you can chat with me. And you get access to the Dropout exclusive shows like Cartoon Hell, I Made That Show, Um Actually, which I was on, and Rank Room, which I was also on. It's a good time. Start your free trial. Go to dropout.tv. Please. Please.